happy day, happy day, and welcome to the Sheila C. Hill Show. And that C stands for come on in this room and have a sit down so we can chit chat today. Listen, the Sheila C. Hill Show is the ultimate go-to podcast for ambitious individuals, yes, just like you, who want to live a more fulfilling and successful life to get valuable insights expert tips and inspiring stories to help you improve your life, grow your business, and enhance your emotional well-being. Now, in every episode, you're going to gain practical tips and insightful wisdom in the company of a supportive community of like-minded individuals whom I call Sheila's Thrive Tribe because over here we thrive. If you are new to the show, I am your host, Sheila Seahill, and I would just like to say welcome to the show and hello. Hola, bonjour, como esta, ni hao, howdy, and what's going on, you guys? Now, before we get started, I would like for you to go ahead and subscribe, follow, and share so you can join my Thrive Tribe as well. Now, today, and I've told you all over and over again that when I bring guests, I bring impactful guests to the show that can help you in your life. Now, today is going to be an amazing guest that I have. My guest is a dynamic author, motivation speaker and a type 2 diabetes reversal specialist with a rich 29-year career as a registered nurse. Now, she was born in Jamaica and trained in the UK. Barbara Samuel C. Diabetes guiding them towards purpose-driven choices that activate their innate self-healing capabilities. Now, her acclaimed book, Seven Steps to Reverse Type 2 Diabetes, is a testament of Barbara Samuel's life. And I want you to welcome her to the stage at this time. We would like to welcome Miss Barbara Samuels. I just with a brief brief overview of what type 2 diabetes is and why it's significant health concern. Well, yes, type 2 diabetes is what, you know, type 2 diabetes is a disease of of how the body um, uses sugar, you know, or glucose. And one would say that every single individual, it doesn't matter who you are, you need energy to live and to thrive, right? And so you get that energy from the food you eat, primarily um, carbohydrates. They are the largest provider of carbohydrate, I mean, of energy for the human body. Now, type 2 diabetes is a disease where the body is, um, not able to utilize the glucose efficiently so it can power your body, either because there's an overabundance, meaning that there's an excess or there's a blockage in the whole circuitry. But the bottom line of with type 2 diabetes, to make it quite simple, is that it affects the entire body because it's a blood disease. It causes the blood, the blood to have more glucose floating around. And sugar or glucose, as we call it, is one of those um, needed thing, but of course, too much of it can be a bad thing. And just like how, just think about glucose when you, when our sugar, you know, when you're a little child and your parents say to you, um, brush your teeth before you go to bed, you're going to get a, um, a cavity. Just imagine when you don't do that and eventually you get a cavity, just imagine how painful that is. But just imagine that that glucose settling on an enamel is able to cause major damage inside your body what would it do to the fragile structures of your heart and your eyes and your lungs and everything that is impacted by type 2 diabetes? So type 2 diabetes is now considered the seventh leading cause of death in the United States. But the truth of the matter is the first leading cause of death, which is, hyper, which is heart disease, 80% of those individuals with it are because of type 2 diabetes. So I like to say, even though type 2 diabetes is for the most part considered the seventh leading cause of death, if you look at it, it is actually the, the first leading cause. 
because it impacts the first leading cause. So it basically, and more and more individuals are being diagnosed with this every day. It's become like what we call a pandemic. It's a silent pandemic because it affects every one in every three to seven individuals. And the, the sad thing about it is that most people who have it don't know that they have it. And sometimes they end up in the hospital. They call it prediabetes, but it's like the beginning stages of type 2 diabetes. Yes. Wow. Wow. That is so informative. Thank you for that. So what actually motivated you to become a type 2 diabetes reversal specialist and advocate for the empowerment of women with this condition? Well, it started basically, you know, I've been a nurse for almost 30 years and I used to work in the hospital system, primarily in leadership. Right. And it started one day as I was um, just walking, you know, rounding on the different clients, hearing their concern, meeting their needs, seeing how my staff was doing. And I started noticing something very strange is that so many younger and younger people were having amputation. They were getting stroke um, in their 30s, in their 40s. They were becoming disabled from a disease, type 2 diabetes. And at first, I thought to myself, why can't they just do what they're supposed to do? Take the medicine, right? Because in my mind at that time, I believe the medicine, if you follow the, med med the medicine that we were given would make a difference. But then it changed. Something happened that changed my life for good. My husband was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And I realized, even though I was a nurse and I knew the management of type 2 diabetes back to forth, and I thought, you know what, I got this. I'm a nurse for 20 odd years, I can take care of this. And I went to town doing what I knew how to do best. But then it didn't work. I realized that instead of getting better, it was getting worse. The medicine wasn't working. My six foot two husband was becoming weaker and less of the man that I knew he was being. This disease had totally ravished his body in a negative way. And so I realized that I'm, at the time my girls were five and six, I said to myself, wow, this is not working. Now I started seeing what my patients were dealing with and I recognized they gotta be a different way. And this was where I was led to realize that the whole management of type 2 diabetes in the traditional healthcare system is not to cure you, but to keep you diabetic. And so we had to use a natural approach using what God had given us, which is the healing capabilities of the body, aligning it with the way it was designed to work. And by the grace of God, in three months, we were able to totally reverse his type 2 diabetes, so much so that when he went to his doctor, he was saying, wow, the medicine is working so good. I've never seen it work so good. Little did he know we had stopped it like two and a half months before. And so that's what really got me into it. But even that, I did not leave and go into doing this <laughs> until COVID. I was then drowned in the same way, and this COVID had came. And as I started to walk, and I saw all these individuals on event. And every time there was a code blue and I go, it's a type two diabetic who was in a bad stage, kidney disease. And it's like, I'm like, no, this is not even right. Why are people dying from a reversible disease? And it just, I, it's like, I couldn't do it anymore. I recognize that me staying in the healthcare system, doing what I've always done, I was not reaching people because people have become so dependent on the system. They become dependent on their doctors and the medicine that they give them. And they were slowly dying, but they were not trying to do anything differently. They thought the process was hard. They thought it was difficult to do. And I realized with what I've learned and what I've gone through, I realized that it's a simple process because it, it focuses on the problem and not covering the symptoms. And so that was when I decided to take a step of faith and pursue this whole journey of helping. And since then, God has been so good. He's helped me to impact so many individuals who have just gotten off insulin, gotten off their medicine, got their life back. And every time I see a client who just walk away and says, wow, it's like they give me breath. <laughs> So it becomes my passion. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where that's where that all started from. That is so awesome. Woo, that is so awesome. Listen, continue doing what you're doing because it's such a need. Oh my God, especially in our community. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Let, let me go because I want to ask some questions even more because it hits home for me. Um, but can you share some common misconceptions or myths about type two diabetes that you've encountered throughout your work? Definitely. Most certainly I can. So throughout my journey of helping individuals, one of the most myth, misconception about type 2 diabetes. Oh, um, my family had it. My mother had it. It's hereditary. It's a family disease. Everybody, I'm going to get it. That's a myth. You see, type 2 diabetes is not genetic. Type 2 diabetes is lifestyle. And so, yes, genetics may load the gun. Just imagine you have a gun. Genetics load the gun, but the lifestyle pulls the trigger. So your lifestyle will pull that trigger that predisposes that may that, that that fires your type 2 diabetes what? or not. Lifestyle pulls the trigger. And so I experienced that even in my own life, wherein that I come from a family that has a wealth of cancers, right? My mom, biological mom, dad at an early age of cancer. And at a young age, I found that I carried the gene. I mean, most of them had died in their 20s and their 30s. I'm 52. And so I realized that a lifestyle approach to healthy living was able to change. So and reduce my risk and, and has helped. So what I'm saying is I've realized that that's a myth. And when people come to the idea to realize that this is not a, a, a genetic disease, it's a lifestyle disease and start taking those purposeful steps, I've seen lives transform. Another one of them is that they believe that you carbohydrate is your enemy. It's not. Our body is designed to get glucose for energy from carbs. But like every good thing, it's not what we do with, it's not what we eat, but how we eat it and whether or not we abuse it. Even water can be dangerous if you abuse it and overdrink. So those are some of the myths. And people believe that, oh, type 2 diabetes is a lifestyle, lifelong disease. That's another myth. It's not. It is not a lifelong disease because if it is started by lifestyle, if it is parted by lack of knowledge and overabundance, then that can change it. And so that's some of the myth that has kept people trapped, enslaved with type 2 diabetes. And once we break through those barriers, I see lives transform. And that's what gets me excited. <laughs> yes. Wow. Wow, that is awesome. So can you explain how it is crucial to understand how life, you know, your diet and lifestyle and managing it, how that is crucial to um, diabetes? Um, so just let me sure I get the question you're asking, like, how can your diet and lifestyle play a crucial role in your getting diabetes or reversing it? Am I correct? That's the question, right? So lifestyle, listen, yes, yes. listen, Sheila, I'm going to, I'm going to be honest with you that lifestyle is everything. I mean, human being, the human body is a, I like to call it a dynamic healing machine right? We were created with self-healing properties and capabilities to heal, restore, and live life abundantly, right? And so most times the lifestyle, so everyone needs oxygen. We all need to move. We all need to drink. Type 2 diabetes is a disalignment of all of the things, primarily with the foods we eat, right? And so the foods have become, the foods are changed. It doesn't look, it's, it's not what it used to be. It's over-processed, it's, it's over-preserved. And so the lifestyle of this, having these um, processed stuff is become our, an enemy to our bodies and to our health. And that's why the more we become more unprocessed foods, the more our lifestyle is quick going without momentary stopping is the more we are at risk. And somebody may say, you don't even have to be overweight. A lot of, I've, I've had clients who are skinny with type 2 diabetes, but because of their lifestyle habits have given them type 2 diabetes based on the foods that they eat and the habits. So we are all given different laws of health. And when we divert from those, it impacts us negatively. 
And so that's what it, it truly is all about. Wow. Listen, I'm going to tell you, I think my whole life is a lie because I've always heard that diabetes was hereditary. I have always heard that. Oh my goodness. I, you have really educated me thus far. I'm so thankful that you're here. We, I'm, I'm going to go into my goodness. I'm just really really shocked that the information that she's sharing today is something that I really have not heard of. And we're going to be back. Are you feeling her, overwhelmed with, with projects questions. to build your business? Search no more. Introducing Borrow My VA, a virtual assistant service. Your one-stop solution to bid farewell to stress and manage multiple tasks with very little effort. We specialize in website building, funnel creation, automations, and email marketing all under one roof. And here's the best part. We provide all these incredible services at budget-friendly rates. Discover a hassle-free way to handle your projects. No more worries about onboarding or finding that perfect virtual assistant. Our team is all set to tackle your task with efficiency. Now, once you delegate the task, consider it done. Say goodbye to overwhelm. Don't miss this fantastic opportunity to elevate your business. Join our list of satisfied customers and book a free consultation today at borrowmyva.com. That's borrowmyva.com. And before the commercial break, we are speaking with the dynamic Barbara Samuels. Listen, she is a type 2 diabetes reversal specialist, and she's debunking myths about type 2 diabetes. She has really blown my mind on some of the things that she's mentioning thus far, including that diabetes type 2 is not hereditary. It's more of a lifestyle. We need to learn more about this. We're going to welcome her back to the stage and so we can learn more. And I'm going to share with you, um, Miss Miss Barbara, let me just tell you, it's very interesting. My mom's name is Barbara, so it's like, I love Barbara. Um, so with my, my story in my family, we have, I have a father who has type 2 diabetes, has, mm -hmm. um, actually he's in the hospital right now for the last two weeks. He has had multiple toes amputated. So when you mention about amputation, that really hits home. And I understand exactly what you're referring to. And then I have my brother, a leg removed due to the complications of diabetes. So when you're saying about the diabetes and the myth of, you know, you're obese, you have diabetes, that's one of the things. I have a sister who's probably half my size. She's much smaller than I am. She has diabetes and complications. So this hits really, it hits home so much. And I'm going to take all this information. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, every, everyone, listen. We're going to have a listening party so we can listen and understand so we can learn from you. So I just want you to, I just want you to know how it hits home. And I'm thankful that you're sharing such information. Um, because listen, I was, I was a chronic pain sufferer and I was on 21 pills and supplements a day. And I completely know what you're referring to as far, as far as with the prescription medicines, and then how I would have to get medicines for the medicine, for the side effects, and I wing myself off by holistic. So I am a true believer of holistic medicine. I am a true believer. Uh, okay, let's talk about your book. Let's talk about your book. In your book, The Seven Steps to Reverse Type 2 Diabetes, um, could you give us a glimpse into some of the key steps or strategies you outline in your book? Well, in the seventh step of reversing type 2 diabetes, everything starts 
with, first of all, you have to recognize what is this, what you're dealing with, knowledge. So, and start with the myth, myth debunking. You have to just get out of that stage because if you start with thinking, this is my life, I'm going to live with this, I'm going to be a medicine all my life, you're going to be that. So the first step we talk about in the book is how to transform your mindset. Because once your mindset is transformed, okay. the, it's a whole success down below. So we look at the mind and some of the myths that people have, some of the hang-ups, some of the family um, concerns that they have with type 2 diabetes, some of the lifestyle that, you know, how or we have certain foods and our and we've passed this down from generation and it's, it's comfort food, but it's also um, condemning foods. Um, and it's good. It tastes good. I'm Jamaican, I can tell you. But the overabundance and the way we do it does not align with how our body works. So transforming the mindset through knowledge, through knowing the truth and that's in the truth set you free. So then we talk about decoding type 2 diabetes, understanding that, no, you don't have to be a, a beast. You don't have to be it's just a lifestyle. So we break down type 2 diabetes and type 1 diabetes and what, what stage and what you're seeing and why you're seeing it. Not in the way. So we basically start with giving you an understanding, decoding. Then we go into the plan for reversal. How, what are the seven steps? We have seven dynamic steps that when followed gives results 99% of the time if you follow them. You know, so we went, we go through a step-by-step -step plan, the plan for reversal and how you maximize the benefits of what our body is made of. In the next chapters, we talk about water and the power of water and how to use it, um, how to incorporate the lifestyle and the natural approach to reversing your type 2 diabetes. So my book takes you from beginning to end, from the head to the toe, and show you how we are fearfully, you're wonderfully made and the gifts you have and how you can use them to take back your life and live life above this disease. So the book is basically giving you, uh, you know, step by step approach. My 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 motto and my mantra that I live by is: you can live life above the disease, and you can it can be cured naturally. However, I'm going to tell people when it's a cure, I stand on my ground. There's many years I used to say. Oh, I'm scared to say reverse, you know, I'm a nurse. I don't want people to say I want it. And, the, and they keep telling me I have to say cure because cure is getting rid of the cause. Like everything else in this world, if you decided that, like you said, you, 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 you lose weight and you go back and eat the same way that gained you 300 pounds, you're going to get by the results. But if you get rid of the cause and get rid of, so basically we teach you how to cure diabetes using the gifts you were given and aligning them so much with the power that you've been given so that you can live life above the disease. That's what it's all about. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So do you have any testimonials of people that have, have went through, I would say your program in a sense, or have followed the steps in your book and they just came out and was their life was transformed? There's so many, but if I could, if I sit here and tell you, it would take a whole day. However, I'm going to share one that stood out to me <laughs> that continually impact. And this is my client. Her name is Beverly, and she's all over social media talking about it. So she, when she started my program, she said she saw my ad on Facebook, and she saw it like a year before she joined my program. She was in a nursing home. She had had a stroke from type 2 diabetes. And so she was in a nursing home and she was in a nursing home for a year and a half. She had left-sided weakness. Her blood sugar was through the roof. She just, as you said, she was on 25 different medicines, different medicine. Everything was, she was at the point when she was in her fifties and she thought this was going to be her life. By that time she was in bed and she said she started, she saw it and she searched and she finally um, found the program and signed up. And I can tell you, she went from first, um, being on 25 to med medicine to being like on 12, then she went down to two. Now she's off all medicine. She's off hypertension medicine. The weakness in her left side that she had is now walking. She's now walking. She is now like a mentor trying to help individuals and her family members who had ascribed to this death by diabetes mantra. And so she is one of my loudest proponent. But I want to share with you that she is not even in healthcare. I'm a nurse. I've been a nurse for a while. And 
healthcare workers are the worst because we tend to know so much and we don't really do what we're supposed to do. So there was another client of mine who is in the healthcare work in ICU and he had type 2 diabetes, right? And he had done everything that he knew, like we all did, based on what we're teaching, but his condition was getting worse. As a matter of fact, he ended up with a heart attack. He ended up with a heart attack and had to have open heart surgery. And even then when he came out, his aunt who was like 75 and had gone through my program, kept saying to him, why don't you join this program? And he's like, no, I don't want to do this. I want to stick with what. But then when he went to his doctor and they told him his kidneys were getting to shut down, he said, what I got to lose? I've already had a heart attack. My kidneys are getting to shut down, might as well. And he joined the program. In like three, four months, he went from taking six to seven units of insulin to zero insulin. He went from weighing from, from way like 260 pounds to 220. He started losing weight. Now he is free from type 2 diabetes, hypertension. And he is saying the only regret he had is that he wished he had done this early and he had started sooner. Type 2 diabetes is reversible, is curable. And the, the pathways are simpler than you think. And it does not take from you to give to you something that you, you have to give up anyway. Because that's what the medicine does. It take, it may cover the symptoms and make you feel better, but it has you have to pay a price with your body. You have to give up a kidney or give up a high or give up a pain or deal with the side effect. You're, you're constantly exchanging good for worse in the long run. So yes, that's what happens. That is awesome. That is awesome to have those testimonials and that, that you're helping so many people because sometimes when you're in that situation, you feel like you're just hopeless and you feel like this is just the cards that are dealt and I'm just going to play them and play by the rules and by the game. But mm -hmm. there's different rules and there's different game to play. And the way that you're referring to it, I mean, everyone who needs, Everyone needs this information because like you're saying, it's not hereditary. So it can just pop up. I knew, I knew of someone who was sick and then they went into the emergency room. They was really having a bad time at diabetes type two. So with that, you know, uh, this is such great information. I'm so thankful that you are embarking on this and made this. So with your, your business living all alive, is, mm -hmm. is that what we're saying? Wellness? Is that how? Tell me all about overall your company. So my company basically focuses on helping individuals live life above diseases, um, hypertension, heart disease. My main area of focus is helping women with type 2 diabetes because of the impact that it has. Um, we teach you basically how to first reverse the disease, how to maintain it, and how to and how to continue to share the good news to your families and family members. Because I believe that if you can reach one to reach many, then we can make an awareness. And especially among our Black community who don't recognize that we have the power in our hands. So our company, I do speak at Motivational in helping people to see who they are and how they don't have to ascribe to a life of diseases. Um, yes, we're all going to die one day. People say, yeah, but you're going to die. Yeah, we're all going to die one day, but we don't have to die in pain and suffering, right? And so we teach you how to do that. So living mm. all the life Ooh, to live and live, you know, you could be living, but walking dead. You know, when you die to diabetes, you're living, you're tired, you're always in a fog. Living all alive is all about teaching you how to live. Ooh, but live oh, I love that. Alive. All alive. And that's what this is all about. So my company, I'm very passionate about what I do. And, and um, I, I, get, I can talk about it all day. But yes, we're all about helping serve you so you can serve others and be the best person that you were created to be without diseases. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. And I often have the same mantra as well, as far as sometimes we are existing, but not living. Yes, so yes. Ba basically we have to live and live the best that we can. Oh my God. And I love thriving. We have to thrive because that's what we do here at this show. Yes. Now, what kind of encouragement would you or advice would you give someone who just found out that they have type 2 diabetes? 
Well, the, the encouragement what advice that, would you give them? The first advice I would give somebody who just found out they have type 2 diabetes is like, you didn't know I was going to hear about this from Barbara Samuels, right? Because now I have the power. The first thing is know that you have the power in you and you have every tool that you need to fight this disease. And no, even if everybody around you seem like they're ascribing to the way of life of a death by diabetes, you're not going to go down that path. So the first thing I have to say, look up, chin up, you got a way out. Um, and no, just, just acknowledge a lot of times, you know, I'm going to be real. The first time, sometimes people will say, you know what? The doctor said they have diabetes and say, in the name of Jesus, I don't have it. Well, you can't say all you want. It's in your body. You got to do something about it. And I'm a believer, but I believe in <laughs> you. You have to do something about it. So acknowledge this disease. Acknowledge. Yes. I have an area where my body's not functioning as it should. How can I get it back in alignment? And the next thing is start looking at what are some of your habits that you have? What are some of the things that are become a staple and that could hurt you? And most importantly, I'm going to say, get with somebody who knows the truth and help you navigate it. And there's a way, there's a, there's a way through starting to eat foods that are unprocessed, um, changing your diet, stay away from the, the things that it takes 50 million things to, you know, get it from the source as much as possible. And fruits are good. It's not bad for you. It's good because our body was made to be, to, to heal on fruits. However, of course, if you're just diagnosed and your blood sugar is very high and you're all, you want to stay away from the, the fruits at the beginning, too much of the fruits, because it's like your house is full and there's stuff spewing out everywhere. You want to dry up. You want to mop that up. Once you mop up the excess and it's in the right place in the rooms and not running all over, then you can start indulging. But the fruits and stuff and is made for you. All right. Yes. Wow. Great advice. Great, great advice. Oh my goodness, Barbara. I'm so glad that you're sharing this information. Now, how can the audience get in contact with you? Because I know there's so many just saying they're waiting for your contact information to connect with you, to get your book. Tell us how can we get in contact with you? Well, if you are interested and you, you're ready to take back your life and live life above time to them, you can get in touch with me um, by first going to my website, join.livingallalive.com. Um, join.livingallalive.com. That's where if you're interested and you want to take back. Hold your... on one moment. Okay, hold on one moment because my system just did something crazy here. Okay. Repeat that. How can someone get in contact with you? It's join.livingallalive.com. And I just sent you the, the link, but join.livingallalive.com and you can book an appointment. I have, I offer free consultation appointments to see where you're at, where you want to go and how we can navigate a step-by-step -step game plan to help you get there um, using the stuff that you're used to and getting you there. So if you're interested you can go to that, join.livingallalive.com, or you can just simply, there's a my page, my main page, which is livingallalive.com, and it can navigate you through there. But if you're struggling with type 2 diabetes and you're ready to take that step or to know how you can start getting on that pathway to a better life without it and above it and without dependence on drugs, then go to my site, join.livingallalive.com, and just book your free consultation, and we'll see, we'll talk. Awesome. And we will have all of your information in the show notes. Thank you, Barbara, so much for showing up and showing up so brightly and so educated, so informative. Thank you very much. Is there any last words you would give, like to give our audience before we leave? Listen, before you leave, I want to say to each and every person who's listening to this show that you are fearfully, you're wonderfully made. You were designed to prosper, to thrive, and to live life above diseases, and to live in good health. And you have all the tools that you need. You don't have to settle to death by diabetes. You are fearful, you're wonderful, and God has made a pathway. And so keep on seeking, keep on taking action. You know, it's all good. I'm going to share with you. It's all good to listen to several things about how to get your life back. 
it's of it's great to hear it's like ear candy but until you take action on it it's of no value to you so you've been given value use it and let's move our lives into the way you were created to be all right that's my parting word awesome awesome Woo! thank you very much that was wonderful Oh my goodness, it was a pleasure to have you. Thank you again for showing up and showing out on today, educating our audience. This is exactly what we need to empower and to inspire and educate our audience. We're all about that here at the Sheila C. Hill Show. Listen, contact Ms. Barbara uh, and everything is in her. Her contact information is in the show notes. Go ahead and book that free consultation and let's break these generational curses in our health. Let's break. So many people talk about wealth and finances and we'll um, generational curses within finances. What about our bodies? You know, we can enjoy the finances if we're not healthy, if we're simply existing and not living to the fullest the way God wants us to be. So thank you for, for showing up today. Thank you for being a part of this community. And if you're interested in sponsoring the Sheila C. Hill Show that offers a unique opportunity to align your brand with this dynamic platform, and with consistent listeners with engaging content, contact the Sheila C. Hill Show.com to be a sponsor, and we'll be glad to work with you. At the end of the day, it is time to go. Until next time to the Sheila C. Hill Show, we're going to see you back. But if no one has told you that you are loved and highly appreciated, I am telling you that you are loved and highly appreciated, but God loves you best. Have a great day. And we thank you for showing up. Bye-bye.